Glory to the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Today, I would like to speak on the topic of riches and wealth. I know this so-called minister, well, he's a false prophet, that told me that I need to seek out the Lord so I can put some money in my pocket. Okay, let's see what the Bible states about wealth. There are many scriptures um, that talks about wealth and talks about the prophets, how they get paid for hire. But um, I will be speaking from the book of Proverbs, and it reads, There is that maketh himself rich, yet hath nothing. There is that maketh himself poor, yet hath great riches. The ransom of a man's life are his riches, but the poor heareth not rebuke. The light of the righteous rejoice, but the lamp of the wicked shall be put out. Only by pride cometh contention, but with the well advised is wisdom. Wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished, but he that gathered by labor shall increase. Then we skip down to the 18th verse, and it states, Poverty and shame shall be to him that refuseth instruction, but he that regardeth, regardeth proof shall be honored. There is that maketh himself rich, yet have nothing. There is that maketh himself poor, have great riches. So, it's basically stating that we have a person that has um, made himself rich, he states that he or she states that they have riches, but they have, according to the Bible, they have nothing. But the the man, a woman that that maketh himself poor, have great riches because they are not. They're in the world, but they're not of the world. It states that the ransoms of the ransom of a man's life are his riches, but the poor heareth rebuke. Okay, in other words. The focus or the price of a man's life or his riches but the poor rejects it or the poor is the are the ones being rejected if you've gotten wealth by vanity you're going to be diminished but if you gather it by labor it shall increase so if you're out here ministering to the gospel and cars um, seeking all types of donations then you're going to be diminished but if you labor it and the Lord saw fit for you to have those things and so be it so this brings me to the to my response that no I'm not rich as far as materialistic things I have enough to get by with Private jets, money, cars, and homes are going to be diminished. And it states that the poverty and shame shall be to him that refuses instructions. Simple as that. You don't follow instructions, you're going to be in poverty. But he that regarded reproof shall be honored. But he that regarded, you know, correction, you're going to be honored for, for doing that. Now, we all fall short of the glory of God. But I've never, uh, I've never been in poverty or anything like that. Now let's go on to chapter, uh, chapter 18, um, and it reads, The rich man's wealth is his strong city, and as an high wall in his own deceit. Before destruction, the heart of man is haughty, and before his honor is humility so before destruction he's gonna have all the riches and wealth but now I want to go to chapter 19 I'm still in Proverbs okay it states wealth make it friends but the poor is separated from his neighbor so the rich make plenty of friends but the but the poor is ignored by his neighbor now, we all know how the, well, the parable, he said that it's easy for a camel 
to enter the eye of a needle than a rich man uh, to enter into the into the kingdom. So, a rich man, you can have your fun while you're here on earth. I'm not saying that this applies to every other man, okay? Because there are people in the Bible that God blessed with riches and wealth. Um, but, again, we still have to take into consideration what he's what he the parable the parables that he gave for people with riches and this mentality that they have on this earth they're going to have their glory here while they're on this earth so instead of worrying about whether I have riches in my pocket you need to be worrying about your own soul which is priceless those who have an ear let them hear what the spirit is saying